In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing how to remove self-talk, and I'm also going to provide you with solutions. Now, I know firsthand how damaging negative self-talk can be to our self-esteem and our mental health and our overall well-being, so I want to share some tips that I've helped with members overcome their own negative thoughts. Now, many of us struggle with feelings of inadequacy, self-doubt, and negative self-talk, but we don't have to let these thoughts hold us back. By focusing on our strengths and accomplishments, breaking down our goals into smaller steps, building meaningful relationships, practicing self-compassion, and redefining the meaning of skinny, we can cultivate a more positive mindset and we can achieve our goals. So let's dive into some practical tips for removing negative self-talk and replacing it with positive self-talk. Now, if you're willing to make this commitment to being more of a positive self-thinker, please hit the like video right now, throw a comment in there, give me an emoji, let me know that you're here and that you're present and that you're with me. So let's dive into removing negative self-talk with solutions. And again, these are ones that I often hear. So number one is that members feel like they're not doing good enough. Now, many people struggle with feelings of inadequacy or they have self-doubt. So to combat this negative thought, it can be helpful to focus on your strengths and accomplishments. So what I want you to do is make a list of all your achievements that you've done, either big or small, so that you can remind yourself of your positive qualities. Number two is saying to yourself that you're never going to be able to do this. Now this negative thought can be particularly damaging when trying to achieve a goal. So to overcome it, we need to break the big goal down into smaller, more manageable steps. So what I want you to do is celebrate every small victory along the way. It could be just a matter of, did you hit three liters of water? Did you get 10,000 steps? Like really focus on the progress rather than perfection. The third one I hear is that I'm not a part of the cool kids or the click. And honestly, feelings of loneliness and isolation can lead to this negative thought. So to combat it, try to connect with others and build a meaningful relationship. Put yourself out there because you're gonna find other people that have very similar interests and problems as you. And as such, you're gonna go down the yellow brick road together towards whatever goal that you're both working on. The fourth one is I'm a failure. And I actually hear this one more times than not. The first thing I would tell you is that if you're trying, you aren't failing because you're failing, but you're failing forward, which means that you're not a failure and it's okay to be failing, but at least you're always moving forward. And this negative thought can be particularly destructive when faced with setbacks or failures. So to overcome it, what I want you to do is practice self-compassion and remind yourself that everyone makes mistakes. Focus on what you can learn from the negative experience or the reason why you think you failed and use it to grow and improve. And the last one is people telling me that they're never going to be skinny. The first thing I want you to do is define skinny because hitting a goal number is just one small part of a bigger journey. If your goal is to lose 20 pounds, and if you stick with it, I guarantee you that you're going to hit that goal, but it's one small part of a bigger journey. And if you could focus on the overall picture versus just like, I haven't lost any weight in two weeks, and my goal is 20, and I wanna lose the 20 in two days, well, yes, then you're never going to be skinny because that journey is way too far off right now. But if we rewind this video and watch from the beginning, I said to focus on breaking the big goal down into smaller parts and putting a realistic time zone on it. Focus on consistency, focus on doing more of the good and focus on years of progress versus just days. In conclusion, I hope these tips have been helpful in guiding you towards a more positive mindset and reducing negative self-talk. Remember, it's a process and it won't happen overnight, but with practice and consistency, you can start to see changes in how you think and how you feel about yourself. Be kind to yourself, celebrate each small victory, and focus on the progress rather than perfection. Give the video a like, let me know that you're gonna eliminate self-talk, and I'm gonna give you part two video for this tomorrow. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.